Well, we've got a question today from Melissa, and she is asking, I've been performing reality checks when I wake up throughout the day, so I may catch myself doing it in a dream sometimes. Sometimes. I'm not quite sure which reality checks to use. Uh, I've been doing the looking at the time and looking back to see if it's changed and trying to put my thumb through the palm of my hand. Any other suggestions? Right. I can see that what might be the problem here is that you're trying too hard with the reality checks and you're doing maybe just one or two. What I would suggest to do, and this will make them more likely to show up in the dream and therefore more likely to give you a lucid dream, is to do a different reality check each time you do one. So, let's say you do them every two hours. The first time you would pinch your nose, try and breathe through your nose. Then two hours later, if you have a totem, maybe refer to my last video, uh, spin your spinning top totem or use your totem in whichever way it is designed to be used. Then two hours after that, do a mental reality check. Look around and ask, you know, how did I get here? What was I doing 10 minutes ago? What am I doing in 10 minutes from now? What was I planning on doing? How, how did I get here? Do I remember going to sleep? You know, these kind of mental reality check questions. Two hours after that, do a combination. Look at your hands. Ask yourself if they feel weird in any way. Try and push your thumb through the palm, as you said. That's a good one. That's probably my favourite one because it works the best for me. Um, but that's really what it's about. It's finding what works best for you. And so what I would suggest is to just to do that. Just to do a different reality check every two hours. And then notice which one or ones appear in your dream first or most. And obviously write a note of those. And also, and you should be keeping a dream diary. I'm not sure if you mentioned that in your question. But if you're not, hmm. oh yeah, you did, yeah, I'll convert, okay, so you're going to keep a dream diary still. With your dream diary entries, this is what I like to do, and this is a great way of improving your uh, chances of becoming lucid and that sort of thing. At the very top of the dream entry, you will have the uh, space where you should have written the date. What I like to do is write the date of the night before, and write, for example, if it's uh, the 3rd of March, right? the 3rd of March to the 4th of March, and that would cover the 3rd of March is night, if that makes any sense, so therefore that night's dreams. And then you write the title, so a description of the dream, if it's about, um, uh, for example, a fight scene with zombies and there's snow, write the snowy zombie apocalypse, something like that, you know, something that will instantly re make you remember what the dream was about without having to read it all. And then next to the title, write the reality check if you became lucid that made you lucid this is important because then you will be able to look back and see which reality check works best and therefore which one you should use more and refine and make more more regular in your day if say if one particular reality check works the best for you and it's always inducing a lucid dream in your sleep then focus on doing more of that reality check so that you have more of the lucid dreams i hope this makes sense so yeah, uh, maybe give it a, a month or so. Every day do uh, several reality checks. You know, not just one or two that you know and that you're comfortable with. Do several and make sure that they're, they're different. But when you're doing them, don't just sort of go through the motions. I mean, I'm not sure if you do, but just for anyone out there listening, if you do a reality check and you're just sort of going through the motions and just sort of, oh yeah, yeah, am I dreaming? Yeah, no. Uh, Really, really think about it and be mindful because that's what this is all about. It's about raising your consciousness and your awareness. And I'm, you know, I don't want to sound like a cracked record here, but just really be mindful. So when you're doing, for example, the um, pushing your finger through your palm, as you're doing it, have the intention of genuinely being able to push your finger through your palm or re whatever your reality check is. Okay, if it's pinching your nose, genuinely have the intention of being able to breathe through your pinched, restricted nose. Okay, um, just be mindful of it and be really focused on what you're trying to do. So don't just do that and then look around and then that's it and go about your day. Spend a good, a good minute or two on it and really, really try and imagine the feeling of your finger going through your hand and imagine almost seeing it come through the other side or feel the, in my dreams when I do this reality check, I just sort of see a bulge in the hand and I can, the thumb sort of disappears into the hand, but then this part sort of bulges out. And that's when I know it's worked. Whereas in real life, it's always the same resistance. It always feels the same. And it always is impossible, of course, to push the thumb through. So be mindful of it. And while you're doing this, 
bring your eyes into focus and really look at what you're doing. Look at what's around you. Look at the objects and the people and what's going on in the world around you. Does it seem normal? Does it seem like it could be a dream? You know, are, are the curtains made of plants, for example? Uh, you know, just a random example, but, you know, are there things flying around in the air that shouldn't be flying around? Are the people acting how people should be acting? Are they acting normally? What are you doing? Where are you sitting? Just be mindful of what you're doing and the, the space around you, and it'll be more likely to work, and it'll be more likely to show up in the dream and therefore activate the part of your mind that is responsible for awareness. So I hope this has answered your question, Melissa. If you have any questions, please send them in. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe right now. The link is right here, seriously. It'll take two seconds. It will mean a lot to me and it will help you because I'll be able to give you lots of interesting information, tips, advice, tricks, lessons, techniques, all of that stuff. So go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.